Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the wonderful city of Akron, Ohio. But before we started on the town, uh, we'll do a quick overview of the gear that I'm using. As you can see, I have already applied the tube, this is the 1.0 or 1.5 version, uh, methylated. Because that's the only travel tube that I have. Uh, I do have the Cube 2.0 when both methylated and non-methylated, but I don't travel with them. Uh, the soap or the cream I'm using tonight is the Rockwell Barbershop. Uh, now the scents on this are leather, neroli, uh, anise, lilac, and cedar. Uh, I will admit when I heard that I was a little skeptical because I'm not a fan of black licorice or anise. Uh, however, the scent is phenomenal. Uh, this is the very first soap or cream that I bought when I first started wet shaving um, almost two years ago. And this is almost gone. I love the scent. The performance on this is middle of the road. It's not phenomenal. It's not horrible. It's just kind of there. Uh, now, I do understand that Rockwell has reformulated their soaps and creams. I don't know anyone who has tried the new formula, so I don't have a compares. Uh, the brush I'm using is the uh, the Smoke. Uh, I don't remember exactly what number this is, but I'll have that in the description below. Um, ooh, my soaps are already drying out. Whipped it up in my travel scuttle here. Uh, I said it's drying out because I did put this in the microwave for two minutes to get. To get a nice warm lather, kind of an oxymoron with the uh, ventilated cube tube. Appreciate it, but because I, as I mentioned, this cream is just mediocre as far as performance is concerned. Um, I find that it does severely benefit from the addition of the cube. Uh, now the razor I'm going to use. Mm, you've seen the thumbnail, but I'm still not 100% sure what razor I'm going to use tonight. Uh, we will we'll figure that out together, or you'll know before I do, apparently, uh, if you have seen the thumbnail in this video. So, uh, the brush was very generously gifted to me by uh, Joshua Hood, warm lather, gorgeous, uh, of over at Shoot in the Shave. Uh, there will be a link to his video, or his channel, in the description below. I think he was doing a live with Rick uh, Neiman. Hopefully I got Rick's name right this time. I think I pronounced it three different ways. Three or four. Um, and they're talking about boar brushes because Rick is a huge fan of boar. And I commented that I haven't tried one. And uh, Josh offered to send me this one. He said that he had some issues with it. It wasn't fully broken in. I've used this extensively. Uh, probably about 20 shaves just on my end. And uh, it's still not fully broken in. But it's definitely better than when I first got it. So I'm just now trying to work in the lather. Work it into the cube. You can see here it's already kind of already gone pasty. Uh, with the addition of the cube. The lather itself in the scuttle is pretty dang moist. Uh, but... The cube pre-shave is also rather thirsty. So I apologize in advance. This video may be a little on the longer side. Because I am having to work the lather on my face as well. Sometimes that's why I don't use the cube on camera or the tube, uh, because even though I have it dialed in in the bowl, when I add in the cube or tube or any kind of pre-shave, I generally have to work the lather a little bit more. And now because I've added water from the tap, the nice hot lather I had has become warm, just become my uh, room temperature, which is fine, it's not bad. Could be a lot worse. So, 
you can see it still created a nice, beautiful lather there, nice and moist. Uh, I'm sure I'll have to keep working the lather with the scuttle because that scuttle is very, very warm. So we put a little bit more water in there. Uh, now, as far as the razors, my last two shaves, uh, I have been using the Dovo, uh, the new Dovo, meaning this is my, um, I think this is aluminum handle and stainless steel blade holder. Uh, I've used this last two shaves and I kind of had the idea of using, going back to my Starling tonight, because I haven't used this on camera for a little bit, for a minute, but in talking to Dave Card, uh, who was one of the reasons I own a Dovo Chevette, uh, even though if you listen, uh, read our banter back and forth on one of the Facebook groups, uh, he will try to blame Frank Stromberg. Totally Dave's fault. <laughs> so I thank and blame Dave. Uh, all in uh, good fun, of course. Uh, Dave is a, a good friend of mine. Uh, so he's been, he kind of mentioned that I should try to use one of these, how many shades I can get in a row with it. Um, so Dave, I think I'm gonna take up on that and I think I'm gonna try this tonight. Uh, this will be the third shave. Uh, here, I, the first shave I did, I had a half DE blade. And then last night's shave, I had the green insert with the Persona hair shaper. And I'm gonna go with that again. So this is the Dovo that I picked up earlier, well, late last week when I went to Maggard's. Um, and after my second shave, the scale got extremely loose to the point where it was just really floppy. Uh, luckily, I'm at an extended stay hotel and they have heavy metal tablespoons and nice dirty counters. So I took said metal spoon and kind of played bulky and hammer <laughs> with the pins. Uh, this is after talking to a couple of people who restore um, straight razors. And they said get try to use a bulky and hammer if you can and I'm like well I'm in a hotel. Kind of can't do that. So hence the spoon. It took a little quite a bit of wax to get it to where it was actually nice and tight. Um, but I think it's working. And this blade might be toast after this shave. I had a little bump there or something. There's already a little bit of blood coming out. Little micro weeper. So anyway, Getting on with the town. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, we're about, uh, talking about Maggard Razors and so my trip up there. Uh, I am in Akron, Ohio. I'm still in Akron, Ohio. Uh, I've been here since December 2nd. And the day of filming is, what is today's date? Today is the 12th, I've already been here for 10 days. I go home, no it's not the 12th, it's the 10th. I don't go home until the 13th. So I have a nice long stay here in Akron. Which isn't bad because the Akron's is actually a pretty decent city. And I was here over the weekend. Um, you saw my Maggards video, that's where I went to Maggards on Friday. And then I went to uh, Columbus on Saturday because I have a really good friend of mine who lives in Columbus. I haven't seen him in about a year and a half. Oh, comes pretty good right there. All right, blood oil's already been paid. We can be, uh, we can be done. <laughs> so anyway, getting on with Akron. Uh, it was founded in 1825 uh, by Simon Perkins. And it has become a rubber and tire manufacturing giant. Uh, this is where Goodyear is located. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later on. Um, but there's a couple things to do here in Akron. Uh, there's the Akron Art Museum. That has 20, 
thousand square feet of exhibits. Trying to do this with the Chevette is challenging because it's I have to concentrate more using a Chevette than I do with my standard SEs. Uh, there's also an Akron Zoo, which is, I've, uh, from what I've heard from talking about people from the uh, with people here, is the Akron Zoo is really nice. I haven't been to the zoo here, so I can't hundred percent say. Uh, there's also. Uh, the PGA has the Bridgestone Invitational uh, that they hold here every year. So if you like golf, you can come here and visit. Uh, you can watch that tournament. Uh, there's also a National Hamburger Festival. It's like my soap is drying out a little bit. I have to wet it down some more. Man, that's a good one right there. Uh, let's see, the top employers in the area are uh, Suma Health. They have a couple of hospitals in the area, a couple of different clinics. Um, the Cleveland Clinic, the Akron uh, branch or Akron Clinic portion there. Uh, Akron's Children's Hospital. Let's see, the healthcare is a, uh, a huge employer in the area. Uh, let's see, and Goodyear Tire and Rubber, running out the top four. And the county is the top fifth, in the top five employer in the area. And it is also home to the University of Akron. Uh, now to get to Akron itself, um, you can fly into the Akron, what is it, the um, Akron Canton Regional Airport, or if you're less intelligent like myself, I didn't realize there's an airport here when I made my travel arrangements. I flew into Cleveland. Well, that's from like a 45 minute drive. Without horrible traffic. So with traffic, it'll be a little longer, of course. Um, but that's not a bad drive from, that's a good little nick right there, uh, from Cleveland. Uh, let's see, also, as I mentioned here, the, the Goodyear blimp was originally stored and maintained at one of the hangars at the uh, airport here in Akron. but that has since been moved off-site to a different location on the outskirts of town. Not a bad first pass, longer than normal. I apologize for this. Like I mentioned, this is gonna be a fairly long video. A fairly longer. A couple of other items about Akron itself is, it is the 94th most dangerous city in the country. So, you know, that's always a fun stat. Uh, let's see. It is home, it has been home to a couple of uh, organized crime families. One of those being the Walker uh, Mitchell mob, of which uh, Pretty Boy Floyd was a member. If you've heard of uh, that notorious mobster. A little bit more water than the lather here. I love the scuttle, but it does make it so I have to kind of work the lather in between passes. And because I'm still kind of working in this, breaking in the bore brush, I really got a lot of lather built up. Uh, let's see. Akron is also the meth capital of, o of Ohio. So, not sure that we're too proud of that stat. So if you wanted, if you like meth or organized crime, you can come to Akron. 
the only time that I've been here, I haven't had any issues. It's actually hasn't been too bad. And I'm sure there's areas you want to avoid, just like every city. And if you're from the area or spend any time here, you probably learned what those areas are. Just like where, if I were to go to Salt Lake, I know what parts of the neighborhood to avoid. And I'm sure the locals do that here as well. Uh, let's see. Now, as far as notable people from Akron, uh, I'm sure everyone knows that NBA star LeBron James was born here. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people don't know is that NBA star Steph Curry was also born here. Uh, they were actually born in the same hospital, which was which is the Suma uh, Main Hospital here. They call it Suma. They call it the City Hospital. And that's where I'm actually working these past two weeks. And that does not feel like it's cutting. Might be a bad angle. Uh, let's see. The televangelist, um, Rex Humbard, is also from here. As is the no noted uh, broadcaster, Hugh Downs. See Ruby and the Romantics are from here as well. As is uh, the band Devo. So if you want to whip it and fit good, you can come to Akron. Sorry, that's bad. Bad try to joke. Uh, the Black Keys are also from here. As is uh, David Allen Co. Uh, Clark Gable lived here for a while, as did John Lithgow. Uh, let's see. The inventor of the nickel metal hydrate battery, I'm going to say his last name incorrectly, uh, Stanford Ovsh. How do you say that? Ovshinsky is from here as well. As well as uh, Richard Smollier, he is uh, he received a Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Uh, if you ask me what he found or why he won, I had I knew that earlier, uh, but I have seemed to have forgotten. This is cut, and it doesn't seem like it. I'm not used. To, I'm not getting the audio feedback I'm used to with this uh, razor here. Uh, and also, astronaut Judith Resnick, who is the second ever female astronaut. Uh, however, she uh, was killed in the jugular in the uh, Challenger disaster. Doesn't it seem like it's cutting because it's just nice and quiet, but and I'm not getting any blade feel, I'm not getting any noise. But it's, it seems to be doing its job. It's not doing too bad. Drain it all over again here. I mean they're talking too much or taking too long. Or my soap's not wet enough. Which is quite possible with the uh, scuttle. And again, this is going to be a long video, I apologize. And there's some feedback.
handle's getting all loose again. than I'm used to with my other Chivette or my other Dovo. That's not bad at all. Alright, we'll do one more pass, a little bit of cleanup. Hopefully we'll be able to keep this third pass relatively quick. Sorry for the running water because Amy's in the Chevette. Um, I do like to keep the sink empty so I can just rinse it off. So I don't have to uh, Fear of hitting the side of the sink. Right. And this got to go up the nice lather. Of course, creams work a lot easier than soaps do. I know I put a little decent amount of cream in here, but still. That lather was beautifully warm. At least when I started, before I had to start putting in the water. So anyway, as I mentioned, um, this, pet, this weekend, I went to Columbus on Saturday. and spent time with a very good friend of mine that's, uh, that lives out there. Uh, now I have been to Columbus a few times that, well, I say a few, I mean, I've only been there twice. Uh, but with that in mind, if you want to see me do a video on Columbus, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I really enjoy Columbus, I think it's a fantastic city. Uh, I enjoy spending time there. And there's a lot of cool stuff there that I think a lot of people are not aware of. So if you'd like to see a video on Columbus, let me know. Uh, next week, I'll be out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So you can expect a video on Milwaukee sometime next week. That one I find on Sunday, so yay, Sunday travel. Not looking forward to that. I don't really got that bump good this time. Under here is always challenging. I can never get that really close, even with the DE or uh, my regular SE blades. Just doesn't want to get close. But as long as it's decent, man, it's a really good week. Really good neck there.
not bad. I just have a hard time right here because with the hair girls, I have a hard time meeting with the Chevette or a straight. It goes at a weird angle. My neck is just all kinds of wonky. Also a question uh, for those that have seen a couple of my videos, which format do you prefer? Do you like me to continue talking about different cities? Um, I know some people, I don't get comments on the towns where I'm going. It's usually just comments on gear that I talk about. Uh, so if you want me to continue with this format, let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go switch and do reviews. I don't buy gear enough to do reviews. and I'm not gonna do reviews. Right. And Dave's probably saying I'm not stretching enough. He's probably right. That's not bad. Look at that, it took so much time that the lather's drying out. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you staying for this far into the video. You'd think after doing Dovo or uh, Chevette and Straight Razor Shaves for maybe a month or so, I'd have this down a little bit better than I do. But. Apparently not. I was talking to uh, Dave Card earlier today when he was telling me I should do as many shades with this as I can before I get irritation. I said I have a goal one day to be as good as he is with his whack. If you haven't seen him shave with a whack, he does three passes in a swear under 10 minutes. It's extremely impressive. But he's also been shaving with shivettes and that for many, many, no, I think he said five years. And I've been doing this for two months, three months. Not nearly as long as Dave. Yeah. Hey, cool. Still not loose. I only got myself there once. That's not bad. It doesn't really matter time in this spot because it had a bump. I 
That could have been bad. Could have been looking like Van Gogh there after for a minute. Or as he's uh, more correctly pronounced in, I think it's in Dutch, and I can't, I don't speak Dutch, but Van Gogh or something similar. Um, anyway, that was in a bad shave. Even my normal troll spot right there we got pretty decent. Don't think we need clean up. So this has been long enough. <laughs> We're sitting over just over 30 minutes. Uh, so I'll do my cleanup off camera. A uh, real quick uh, recap of everything I've used. I used my newest Dovo with the aluminum handle and stainless steel uh, blade, blade holder, whatever you want to call it, insert holder. Uh, using the Samog, and I don't recall the numbers. They'll be in the, in the title of the video. Um, not a bad little knot. Uh, it's still holding on the ladder, so I think it's finally getting broken in to the point where it's not bad. Uh, the pre-shave I used was the mentholated tube from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. This is not the tube 2.0. The cream was the Rockwell cream. Great scent, mediocre performance. Uh, that's why I used the mentholated tube. Everything was lathered up in, ooh, snap. That's, uh, <laughs> I think I caused a little vacuum there in my travel scuttle. Hopefully that will pop right back out. Um, so I'm going to have to worry about that afterwards. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, tune in next week when I talk about uh, Tarrant, Wisconsin. So hope you all, all have a good day.